Hello friends and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, it's been a while and I'm happy to be back here in my living space recording a video for you. It has been a while. If you did not see my vlog talking about what's been going on for like the last three weeks of my life, then I recommend you go check that out. Um, I will have it linked up in the card thing, um, over there, up there, um, in the iCards and, um, yeah, otherwise, you know, just go back and check out. Um, if you didn't know, I was sick, I was dog, I was pet sitting and then I was sick and now I'm back and I'm mostly well, I'm still a little congested, so, you know, pardon me for that, but I'm feeling well enough to record and I have a lot of recording and catching up to do. I'm gonna try and do the best I can, but I can't guarantee I'm gonna get everything. So, today is an update for the Pan That Palette of 2022 with the theme, um, Fantastic Ladies Collab Group theme of Size Matters, so stick around to see that video. Alright, this is my update. I will be doing one more finale in January for Pan That Palette of 2022. Um, I went with the Fantastic Ladies Collab Group um, theme of Size Matters. Pan That Palette was originally created by Amber F. I will have her linked in the description as well as the creator of this theme, which was Jessica Lee and it was voted on by all the members of the Fantastic Ladies Facebook collab group. Fa fa um, yeah, Facebook group. We voted on um, this. Next year's has already been chosen. If you want to become a member of the Fantastic Ladies collab group on Facebook, it is easy. Just look us up and answer a couple questions, and that's it. There are lots of um, projects going on all the time, and yeah. So, um, this month's theme, Size Matters, was for anything big, bulky, awkward for you. Um, I brought in the Marvie Corn by um, BH Cosmetics in collaboration with Marvin Magnificent. And this is my second largest palette in my collection, and it is awkward for me because I bought it when a time when I was transitioning from neutral shades to colorful shades, and the shades in this I didn't know what to do with. But over the year of using this, I have learned to love it, and I have many more pans in it than I did when I started. When I started, it was practically brand new. Now it has been loved tremendously. Um, out of the 13, it has 10 eyeshadows and 3 highlighters. Out of those, I have hit pan in before, as of the last update, I'd hit pan in four of the eyeshadows and all three of the highlighters. So, I will put up a picture of what it looked like at last month's update. Okay, sorry, my nose got red. I had to blow it. Um, and now, this is what it looks like now. I have a new pan. See that shiny pan right there in the black? I hit pan in the black. Yay! So that means five shades in this palette left to hit pan on. Do I think I'm going to hit pan by the next update? It's pretty close on both of the browns and that's about it. So over the last month I have used, I have not used Flotter at all. I also have not used Moody. I'm not using any of the shades that already have, um, well, for the most part, I'm not using shades that already have pan in them unless I really need them for something. Um, the next shade, this orange shade, Honey Bow Boo, I've used once, and that is today. Um, the shade, red shade or copper shade, I, it, it looks red, but then it looks copper, and I'm not sure, but it is very metallic, um, and it is called K-By. I have used it once. That is also today. <coughs> And the purple shade Bahamas I've used twice, and one of those uses is today. So I have the orange shade in the inner half of my lid, the red on the outer half, and the um, 
purple darkening the outer corner and into the crease. Um, for the bottom three shades, Savage, I have used six times. I tend to use this, um, put it all over my lid as a base shade or just in the outer corner to darken up the look. Um, I have used it, I think I already said, six times this month. Breakdown, which is the black shade here, I actually hit um, pan on that on November 5th, and that was two uses after the last update. Um, but since then, I have used it nine more times. I have, I am primarily, now that I've hit pan, I'm using it only to mix with spray tan, which is this shade here, to use on my brows. Um, I have discontinued using it as a liner shade. Um, I have plenty of eyeliner pencils that I can use to do that. So going over um, all the shades I have used, oh, and spray tan I have used nine times as well. I use these two together. So I've used them both nine times. So total uses for everything in this project, I don't know, I haven't counted it. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna go over the shades that I've used over the last month and give you the total number of uses for each of those um, since some of the other ones have not changed use. Um, so for Honey Boo Boo, I have used it a total of 20 times and it's got a dip in it, you know, it, it needs some more love. Um, K Bye has a total of 16 uses. Surprisingly, I haven't used it that much. Bahamas, I have used 23 times. They all have little dips in them, but not a whole lot going on. As for the browns, um, Savage here, I have used 41 times. It's got a pretty good dip. I feel like a pan might be popping up soon. Breakdown, I used 85 times, and I do have pan in that now, and then spray tan here also has another nice dip in it, and I've used that 60 times. Um, so, over the next month, I'm going to focus on all of the shades, but I'm probably, I'm going to continue using spray tan um, in my brows with um, breakdown. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to guarantee anything, but I'm going to try and use all of them at least more than once over the next month. I'm going to try and use them all, let's say, four times. We'll see. You know, no guarantees. Um, I could probably do better. I could probably do worse. But that is it for this month's update. I hope you enjoyed it. Um not going to have the whole montage. I will show you what it looked like when I began the project and what it looks like now. I'm um, not going to do all all 12 months, but just the beginning, where it started and where it is now. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a great big thumbs up. If you are happy to see me and want to see more of my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and um, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing and what you're looking forward to. And if you can guess what my palette for next year might be. I'm not going to tell, but I already have my palette for next year picked out. So until I see you in my next video, remember to take care of yourselves, be true to you, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.